Thank you for coming by, Tori Magoo44. Today is July 2nd, 2015, and in two days it will be July 4th, which is a fantastic day. It is the day in our country, the United States of America, we celebrate the Declaration of Independence. And it has to do with freedom, our freedoms. And it's very, very important that all of us stand up and protect our freedoms every single day. I was blessed with having parents who raised me that way. They were like, you can't ever take freedom for granted. You can never think, ah, you know, we have everything, we're fine. No, you have to make sure that not only your freedoms are protected, but everyone else, that their freedoms are protected too. And that's a, that's a big job when you think about it. Let's look at the Church of Scientology as an example. I was a member of it for 30 years. I believe me, people ask me, how could you possibly have bought that? And that's a whole different thing. You can watch more of my videos that explain it. Chris Shelton does a great job of explaining the mind control. Um, Karen De La Care with Surviving Scientology has some excellent videos on it. Tony Ortega, for sure, every single day has fabulous things on it. Uh, Steve Hassan has written some excellent books on mind control and cults and how that works. It's very important that you learn why people like us did get suckered into it. Because people think, well, that would never happen to me. Well, that's not necessarily true. And uh, cult experts have, who've studied cults have said anyone can get suckered into a cult if they're in the wrong place at the wrong time. So to Scientologists who may be lurking and watching this, I want you to get this. Your church sells freedom. Now, let, let me just say that again. Your church sells freedom. You can't sell freedom. You can't. It doesn't work that way. And I know you're paying for it. And God knows the whales, the people with a lot of money who are donating so they get their tax write-offs, please consider finding a real charity that really and honestly helps people. Because the Church of Scientology does not. They don't. Let me say that again. The Church of Scientology does not. They don't help anyone at all. And you can look around in the church and see people who, are they better than they were last year? the year before, five years ago, ten years ago? The answer is, the higher up you go, the worse off you are. That's a fact. They can, they'll say to you they're better. I remember that. I know it. Oh, yeah, it's fantastic. We're doing great. But when, once you finally wake up and really, it's hard to face. It's very hard to face that you're in a mind control cult. It is. It just is. But look around, start connecting the dots. Ask yourself this, why would all the top people in Scientology leave? Why? There must be some reason. We're not all crazy. You can try to say, in the old days, they could say, oh, well, that person, they're nuts, or they're out ethics, or he's PTS, or it's really is suppressive. And while we're at it, because it's a holiday weekend, let me show you my SP Declare so that Pete and other folks around the world can take a shot because that's part of the Magoo drinking game. But anyway, tomorrow in two days is the 4th of July and I hope for all of you that you do celebrate freedom, that you stand up, you speak out, you let people know. Do not let people suppress you. Let me say that again. Do not let other people suppress or hold you down or make you feel like you're less. If you're feeling like that, use L. Ron Hubbard's policy. He said the way out is the way through. But what did he really do? The way out is the nearest door. He took it. Why not you? There you go. Anyway, have a fantastic 4th of July. I love you guys. I thank you. And have a safe and happy 4th of July. Peace out.